you guys already know that this is the beak I have installed in my Pulsar 220. I am just going to remove this beak and show you the process of how to make the new one same like this. This is very simple one. I will show what are all the materials we need to make this beak and about this part in this video. As you are saying we have removed the beak this is the number plate holder this big just going to sit in this number plate holder only this is the this is the clamp we are going to make for this big as i said this will be fixed in the number plate holder only you can see the clamp it's just four to five pieces of material we are going to use this is the part we used to make this big this is Yamaha Ray Scooter windshield yes it's a Yamaha Ray Scooter car windshield you can see this is a windshield written there the part number is 2NCF83810 and this costs only 140 rupees and I'll just unpack this this is the one you will get from the showroom I just made painted and just done stickering work this is how it looks when you buy this it uh, looks like a tinted uh, one uh, it's little transparent uh, windshield you can see there are four holes in this uh, windshield two on each side this is mine already I made it you can see the both so these clamps we are going to make and uh, fix it in this and uh, show you all first material we need is this metal rod this is a 3 mm metal rod you can take 3 mm or 4 mm whichever is available we need to cut 14 cm length in this only one rod is enough for 14 cm but I took uh, one more extra for the safer side Uh, next one is 7 cm rod into 2 pieces as we need 2 pieces of 7 cm rod you can see now there are uh, rods we have cut it. this is uh, 2 pieces of 7 cm rods and uh, I have 2 pieces of 14 cm rods in this 14 cm rods we need only one but for the safer side I took one more extra Next we need this uh, flat pieces, take 3 to 4 inches of uh, each one, we need 4 pieces of this, thickness can be uh, 2 mm or 1.5 mm. In this 4 pieces we need to bend 2 pieces into L shape, uh, bend this in 90 degree, I will show you how it will be, 2 pieces we need to bend like this into 90 degree can you see this this is the two pieces we have bent fix the bending point as a center and bend it in 90 degree look like a L shape can you see this we have bent two pieces into L shape that is 90 degree we have a flat two pieces this is this two pieces we will fix in this uh, number plate holder next take 7 cm rod and place it in this bending point and weld it in the position of 45 degree the same process need to be done for the another piece also 
take that 7 cm rod and place it in the bending point of the L shape uh, flat piece and weld it in the 45 degree angle. We will fix this in the number plate holder. Can you see this is how it will be set in this number plate holder. That's it. This is the main thing we needed for this big. Next, we need to take the two pieces of flat pieces and place it under the windshield and mark the holes to tighten the bolts. Once we tighten the bolts, the flat pieces will be looks like this and under the windshield. We have already have that 14 cm rod. We need to weld it on this to lock the position of the flat pieces. We are going to weld this 14 cm rod on this flat pieces. So by welding, we will lock the position of this flat pieces. Since the big part is fiber, it will be melted when we welding. To avoid this, we need to pour the water. We will weld on this other side also. This is how it looks after welding. The position of the flat pieces will be locked. If you remove the bolts from the windshield also, it will be in the same position. We need to adjust the rods to place the beak onto that. These rods need to be touch the flat pieces on the windshield. So keep the beak straightly. Check the placement. If you see the left side rod is not touching the flat pieces properly, we need to adjust that left side rod. So now it's been adjusted. You can see this is properly touching the flat pieces. Another side also touching the flat pieces. We need to weld this in the position. I just removed the spark plug to do the welding work. Place the cardboard also for the safety. We just need to place it properly. This is the main thing we need to do now. Just weld it on the one side and check the position. Adjust the beak to the proper position. Once you are okay with the position, just weld it again. Give a little bit of pressure towards upward so the beak will be sit firmly. Now it's been welded. This is how it looks. The beak work is done now. It looks very simple and elegant. Can you imagine this looks same like the Tiger XCX. Then we need to remove the clamp from the beak. Just do the full welding. This is how the clamps look. We need to do the full welding on this. Once you're done with the full welding, just grind the welding parts. Wait a minute, I have another one for you for the Pulsar 220. When I went to purchase this big part from the Yamaha showroom, I have seen the MT-15 bike and I like that uh, front headlamp design and I was thinking how it will be in our Pulsar 220 if we fix this. 
I want to try this so I bought this MT15 front headlamp cover also I will post it in the another video how it will come out Thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel for the more videos if you have any suggestion and comments on this please do comment on this video below thank you